Hi everybody, how's it going? Um, it's so good to be on here and be talking to you guys. It's Make It Happen Monday and it's August 5th, 2019. So I have some quick tips for your business. Hopefully it won't be too distracting out here in my deck. Um, I don't know, I would like to have a different view, but you got the road over there. So here are some ideas that you can use for your business this week. And the first one is to think about doing a quick fix dinner. I just sent a text to all of you guys, so you should have gotten it. If you're not getting your text from me, let me know or if there's some issues like, um, I know I send you like four texts in a row or six six texts in a row um, just so, be, so that it kind of breaks it up and it's more in order uh, to make sure it goes in order. But I talked about doing a quick fix meal because people, it's August. I can't believe it's already August. Can you guys believe that? Um, it's August and people are already getting ready for getting back to school. People are school shopping and they're going to want some quick fix meal ideas for when kids are going back to school because it is really tiring that first week back in school. Don't you guys agree? Especially if you're a teacher. It is a super hard, long week that first week. So how about offer some quick fix dinners for them, some ideas. You'll find those ideas, the different kind of recipes in our Consultants Corner in the um, party portal, image portal. You do, I do believe you still have to go through the um, virtual party in experience in-home experience training and virtual party experience training in order to unlock, to unlock those outlines and to unlock those um, beautiful pictures that you can use. So I challenged you or I said make a goal of contacting 15 people this week and talk about the quick fix meals. Um, say a couple recipes in there that you could show them how to make whether it's going to be a virtual party or a recipe day with friends and say hey what do you think would you like to do you think you and your friends would like to learn some quick uh, ideas for some quick fix meals dinners um, so I also said to fill your calendar this week we want to fill the rest of our calendar for August so my goal is to have 20 bookings by the end of August I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna work I'm gonna concentrate on getting 20 bookings and if I only get 12 I'm gonna be super happy so that means I have to contact a lot of people so you want to contact figure out how many parties you want this month and then set um, look in your calendar when you can do your parties like personally myself I can do parties every single week this month for virtual and I do have some open dates for that I could be talked into doing a cooking show so set that up and then start asking people and make a goal like they say for every 10 people you ask you should get one to two bookings so if you want to have four more bookings for the by the end of the month how many people do you need to ask you need to ask a lot of people right 40 people um, I I would love to say that you could ask 10 people and get four bookings but it's really a numbers game the more people you ask the more bookings you're gonna get uh, the more bookings you're gonna get guess what the more sales you're gonna have the more sales you're gonna have uh, hello the more commission you're gonna make right and you, we could all use some extra money and then also you're gonna be um, introduced to all kinds of other people who maybe some of those people need extra cash or in the market for earning extra money so I also gave you guys a team challenge I think this is number two number two offer the quick uh, quick fix dinners that's the theme uh, and set a goal figure out your calendar start asking people and number two the team challenge uh, sell 15 sets 15 not sets 15 jars of those meal starter um, meal starter jars so those are out now they're brand new they come out in fall but Pampered Chef is letting us sell them early so let's blow that out of the water you sell 15 of them by itself they're $15 a pop you'll have over a hundred or over two hundred dollars so you'll have over a party party if you sell uh, five sets you'll have sold 15 and you'll be at 175 for sales. So then you could just come up with a $25 more. And again, you'll have the host rewards, $20 in free product, 60% off what? Anything in the book catalog this month for August. Or, and you get a half price item too. So maybe you're not um, 
funds are short, like for me, I don't have a lot of disposable money to go ahead and spend on Pampered Chef. So maybe I would give away that 60% off, you know, order a meal a jar and get, be in the drawing for 60% off item or get the half off item or give away the $20, give away $10, whatever. There's all kinds of different ways you can sell those meal starter jars. I sent, I already sent out um, emails to all of my contacts and told them about the meal starter jars. I posted it in my uh, group page, my business group today. You can go in there and look at it on my business group and you can see what kind of words I used and use those words as well. Change it up a little bit because we all say the same things on Facebook. Facebook will hide it. So that's your team challenge. And I'm doing, if you sell the 15, come post in our group that you sold 15 and you will get an entry of the $5 gift card. Remember, if the $5 gift card um, is a drawing every month for Just Ask and who won it last month? I did. I'm really excited about giving myself a $5 gift card. I was the only one who put Just Ask and screenshot of uh, conversations that you have with your um, t with you with people so I just want to encourage you that there's two reasons why we want to um, screenshot and post it because the other people can see what um, what wording you use so that it helps them other people can see that you don't always get a yes like I, I get way more no's than I get yeses you guys and I just want you guys to know that it's a it's a numbers game so I'm very proud of you guys. I see you guys out there working and doing different things with your business. And I'm so excited to see where you're gonna take your business. Uh, people have been, you guys have been going to meetings, you've been doing extra trainings, you're out there asking people and you're getting some good results, you're getting people interested, and you're gonna be able to change people's lives. So I uh, challenged you guys in the text to watch Kristen Waringa's video on the words that she says to people about joining Pampered Chef, super good words. I went back and I wrote down what she wrote and I have been using those. Are you in the market for earning extra money? I, mean, I never have said that before. What a great way to ask people if they want to join Pampered Chef. Um, so I challenge you to ask 10 people this week if they want to join your team. And why am I asking you to ask so many people? Because people are in, are in the market for earning extra money. People would like to just be able to buy groceries. There are, there are people who would like to be able to buy more groceries every month. There are people who would like to get a new car or need to get um, braces for their kids teeth, would like to put their kids in a private school or pay for college. There are people who are in the market for extra money and you never know who they are unless you ask. So good luck on those. Uh, you can also do a last chance party, run it right in your group. I talked about that last week. So what you'll do is just look at the flyer of the last chance items of the last, the things that are going away and just post about them and see if anybody wants to get them. I've done um, a, a big post about, you know, I'm taking orders, pre-orders for the, or not pre-orders, but orders, bulk orders for the cut and seal, because that's not gonna be round anymore. A lot of people really like that it's round. They can make those sandwich pockets like that. Um, and I, I got four orders for that, not super lot, but it's, $44 in sales and I'm really happy about that. I'm also going to do the veggie wedger because that one's super popular. I love the veggie wedger. Really sad that it's going away. There is a spider on my wall on my house. On my wall of my house. There's a lot of spiders out here. So anyways, uh, let me see. I've got two more things to tell you. Well, actually, and I taped this up so good so that I could look at Oops, sorry guys. I taped it up so good. Oh, I really hope that I'm in our group. I'm sure that I am. I do. Oh, you guys, now I'm not going to be able to get it. I'm going to have to hold it. So the other two things are, oh, somebody told me on our team, actually Emma told me, she said that she watched a video on um, YouTube and it talked about, do you guys offer anything to get bookings? Because you're really kind of shooting yourself in the foot if you're not. And people like to get little extra prizes for doing a party. So this person said, why not buy $5, $10, even if you want $15 gift cards for like Walmart or Myers, and then you put them in an envelope, one, two, three, and say, if you book a party, you can have one of these gift cards and they're valued between five and 15. 
and whoever books, you send them off their host packet, but you keep the gift card because the stipulation is they have to have $200 in sales in order to get that. So would you guys pay an extra $5 in order to have a party? Uh, would you pay 15 if you had a party? Um, they have to be 200, so you're gonna make 40 on that right off the, off the top. Um, and who knows, it could be a $1,000 party. You just never know. So I'm gonna go out and do that. I'm gonna get $30 worth and I'm gonna start doing that. And as I earn money from the new parties, I'm gonna put some more back. If it's a big party, maybe I'll put $20 back so that I can offer that. And then the last thing I wanna tell you guys, well, two more things, sorry, I've got two things. Uh, start working on Dash, start training on Dash. Pampered Chef has this amazing training for us and you get little points. It's like doing, um, what is it? Those games on Facebook where you get points and you're in a garden. I don't know, I haven't played them so long. I used to only play games until on, I spent all, all day long playing Bejeweled and now I spend my time playing games on Facebook. So uh, you get little points. Right now our leaderboard is Aaron. Way to go. I'm gonna pass you now. I'm really close. And um, start doing Dash so that you can get training for your business. You are the CEO of your business and the more knowledge you have about your business, the more money you're gonna make. It's always a good investment to get knowledge always of good interest investment it's a good investment anyways Benjamin Franklin said something like that last thing oh it's about Facebook so again we have our issues with Facebook and I'm very thankful for what Facebook gives us but they are following rules and trying to um, make Facebook what they want it to be and we have to follow those rules so a little tip Pamper Chef sent out some emails to us a few weeks ago before conference and they said that we really need to start um, doing our parties with our business page so if you don't have a business page made I really recommend that you go make a business page and make it like Judy Emmons Pamper Chef use your first name first so that when because they want you to post in your parties with it too um, and once you do that, you should, it should alleviate any of the Facebook jail because Facebook really wants people who have a business to run their business from their business page. So it's just a formality. It's really not going to affect anything in the party except for the way you set it up. All right, that's all I got for you. If you guys have questions, let me know. Hope you all have a great day and take care. Happy Monday. Bye-bye.